methyl group consists of one carbon atom bonded to three hydrogen atoms. Each carbon atom can bond with four other atoms, leaving one more available bond, which constantly attaches to and detaches from numerous other molecules in the process known as methylation. Here is a simplified version of the methylation cycle. Your body derives nutrients from the food you eat. In particular, B12 in the form of methylcobalamin and folic acid in the form of methylfolate are required for methylation. Those nutrients are used to create SAM, short for S-adenosylmethionine. Notice that SAM has a methyl group attached to it. Now SAM donates its methyl group to a substrate. This process is called methylation. In this example, its methyl group attaches to DNA, which is used to silence genes, such as cancer genes. Now that SAM no longer has its methyl group, it's transformed into homocysteine. The homocysteine is recycled to make more SAM, and the cycle starts over. In another example, SAM donates a methyl group to an amino acid to make a neurotransmitter. There are over 40 such reactions in the body requiring methylation, with SAM being the major methyl donor. Through genetic testing of genes, we are able to identify the specific genetic mutations also called single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs for short, within each individual. When the gene is mutated, the protein or enzyme made by the gene is also mutated, thus altering how well it works. By identifying the presence of a SNP, we can compensate for it and give the body the support it needs to perform its tasks successfully. A major player in the methylation cycle is a gene called MTHFR. MTHFR stands for the methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase gene. MTHFR is also the name for the enzyme produced by the MTHFR gene. Notice the word folate in its name. This gives us a clue that its function will involve folate a form of folic acid. The body derives nutrients from food. The nutrients go through a series of conversions until they become an active form, which can be utilized by the body. Enzymes help with the conversions. Let's look at folic acid and B12, which are especially important for methylation. Synthetic folic acid is added to many foods and vitamins. Folate is naturally contained in many foods, including fruits and vegetables. The body takes in these foods and begins to convert the folic acid and folate. Several more conversions happen. The final step is the active form of folate, known as L5-methylene tetrahydrofolate, or methylfolate for short. Notice the word methyl in its name. This gives us a clue that it will be involved in methylation. The active form of B12 is called methylcobalamin. Methylcobalamin requires methylfolate to make SAM, which then donates methyl groups to cause methylation. However, notice that the enzyme MTHFR is located right before the final folate conversion. If you have a mutation in this enzyme, this will lower the amount of methylfolate produced. As you can see, a mutation in the MTHFR gene will have a negative impact on methylation. Glutathione is a powerful antioxidant in the body found in all cells. It has many functions in the body including removing toxins, quenching free radicals, supporting the immune system, and protecting vitamin B12 inside the cells. As you can see on the methylation cycle diagram, glutathione is created from homocysteine. Stressors deplete glutathione, 
which produces oxidative stress, allows toxins to accumulate, and interferes with the protection and intracellular metabolism of vitamin B12. A functional deficiency of vitamin B12 develops and accumulated toxins react with much of the B12. Lack of sufficient methyl B12 establishes a partial block of the methylation cycle, which will also deplete glutathione. Due to the lack of B12, folate drains from the cells into the blood via the methyl trap mechanism. Glutathione depletion and the partial methylation block form a vicious cycle, and this vicious cycle becomes chronic. This vicious cycle is the reason ME-CFS is a chronic condition. Most of the various biochemical abnormalities and symptoms of ME-CFS result from glutathione depletion, the functional deficiency of vitamin B12, the methylation deficit, and low intracellular folate.